At this point, our fox here is now dry. It's been about three weeks now. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a wire pet brush. I'm just going to back brush this whole fox. What this will do, this will loosen any clumps of hair that might still be here. And it will get any glue that we have out of the hair. Just in case we would have missed some in the drying stages. If we have any strings that we see that we missed cutting, we'll cut these at the same time here. And then once we get it all back brushed, we're going to take our pet dryer and we're just going to fluff any dead skin out of this that we can. Now I've been using the pan pastels for a lot of my finish work anymore. Um, I'll use a flesh color. This one will be the red oxide tint for my flesh color. They make several different flesh colors. You can play with what you like. I'll use um, a raw umber shade and then I'll also use a uh, raw umber extra dark. And then I'll probably top these eye skins with a uh, black in the pan pastels. Now on this fox I already put epoxy in between the eye and the skin and I already put the latex over the eye so we can peel it off easily later and right now we're just going to put a flesh color over this nose and then we're going to put it into the nostril we're going to give a flesh color into there and then we're just going to take a little bit of the flesh on our brush and we're just going to push it in between the eye and the skin here and we're going to cover that epoxy work with the flesh color and we're going to go on the front of this eye here and put a flesh tone layer on it also. I'm going to add just a little bit of a flesh tone in these ears so we'll take our brush and put a flesh on here. The one thing you want to kind of be careful of when you're using these pan pastels you want to try not to get too much on the hair because it doesn't come off quite as easy as like a lacquer paint or anything like that would now we're ready to seal this color off I like to use a matte finish I mean you can use any kind of matte but I use the 2x rust-oleum here now we're gonna put the raw umber shade on here it just adds a little bit of a brownish color. I'm just going to take it along the lip line first here and then we're going to end up putting it in the ear just uh, darken the tones of the ear because fox usually have pretty dark ears. I mean you can see that I have my reference photos in the back here you might see little different colors and when you look at your references you just want to match your reference photos that you can. Now we're just going to take that color here and go across the nose pad and it should get us pretty close to the color that we would like to see on it. We might have to add a little bit of other color just to get where we want to match our reference photo but I'm thinking we'll probably be happy with it the way it is. And now we just go right along this eye skin. We want to stay on the high point of it here. We don't want it on our flesh color epoxy work on that in between the eye and the skin here. We're just going on the outside of that eye skin just to give it a little bit of a darker tone here. Now we're pretty much going to follow the same process with the uh, raw on there extra dark and we'll probably use black just around the eye. That'll be the only place we'll use the black color here. And we're going to we are going to seal in between every layer with that matte Once we get the color where we like it, we are going to seal it off with our matte finish. Uh, we're just going to take a light coat over it at first, just to lock any colors in that we have. 
and then we can go a little heavier on a second coat here. We're just gonna make sure we hit all of the all the places that we put any of the pan pastels on. We're now just gonna take a soft cloth here. We're gonna kinda go over any of the hair where we would have had any overspray from our spray can here. Just to clean that hair up and give it a nice clean feel to it. We're just going to take a toothpick now and we're going to peel this latex right off of these eyes. Now I'm using a toothpick here because these are acrylic eyes. You definitely don't want to scratch them after we've put all this work into them. Now we're done. Now I cut the wires that are in his legs off and I run screws beside him just to anchor him down. So I'm going to run the pet dryer on him one more time and just fluff the hair up that I might have uh, pressed down when I pulled him off of here to cut those wires off. And that just gives him the final finished fluff and we are now finished with this fox.